Hey there, family. Welcome back to my channel. And today, Black Twitter strikes again, okay? Because our beloved Cater to You is under attack. People are saying that the song Cater to You by Destiny's Child is toxic, okay? And it should be canceled. I want to know, is it toxic or nah? We're going to talk about that today. If you want to see, keep watching. <laughs> if you're new, please do subscribe to become part of the family. We got a lot on this channel, okay? We got natural hair, we got plus size fashion, we got lifestyle and vlogs, and apparently we have my random reaction and opinions. Two things that, you know, we just here. We have fun. Okay, so let's get into it. If you are on Twitter or on Instagram even, you might have seen a hilarious trend of people reacting to cater to you lyrics and saying, nah son, not me. If you haven't, I'll leave a link to the trend. It's hilarious. I truly enjoyed this trend until I started thinking over thinkers be like, is it really toxic? Is it just that we as women have changed our standards or now is it that we are choosing men who are not worthy of the lyrics that are sung what's the situation exactly so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go through the cater to you lyrics i'm gonna react to it and then i'm gonna give my opinions and i wanna hear yours okay let's do it baby i see you working hard okay i want to sing it okay <clears throat> Baby, I see you working hard. I want to let you know I'm proud. Let you know I, I admire what you do. Okay. So she's saying, I see you working hard. I want to let you know I'm proud. Let you know that I admire what you do. I mean, it starts off in a good way, if you ask me. The more if I need to reassure you, my life would be purposeless without you. <laughs> we started off so well. Ah, listen. I love my husband. By the way, this is my husband. I love him. I love him so much. And we've been together for so long that he has actually helped me discover my purpose. <laughs> he, we have shaped a lot of the way we live together. But would my life be purposeless without him? That's a lot. Honey, girl, baby, child, even if you ain't got that, man, you got, you still got Jesus. You still got a purpose. Anyway, if I want it, got it. When I ask you, you provide it. I mean, I don't feel like that part is toxic. If she wants something and she asks the man, some people wouldn't approve of a woman asking a man for something that she needs. That's for me. That's neither here or there. If that's how the relationship is and he's the sole provider and that works for them i'm not against that you inspire you inspire me to be better challenge me for the better sit back and let me pour out my love letter i'm gonna try to sing this song okay if if it's not good i'm sorry okay you inspire me to be better better you challenge me for the better sit back and let me pour out my love letter i think that these two sentences, he inspires her to be better, he challenges her for the better, are like really important sentences, sentences in the song. That means that all of the things that she's gonna talk about in the song, in her love letter, are not just for any old guy, okay? No! He has to come correct. He has to inspire you to level up your game. Okay, huh. let me help you take off your shoes, untie your shoestrings, take off your cufflinks. What you wanna eat, boo? Let me feed you. Let me want your bad water. Whatever you desire, I'll supply you. Okay, okay, okay. Sing you a song, turn my game on. I'll brush your hair, you put your do rag on. Wanna put a rub? Wanna manicure? <laughs> I'm sorry, that was unnecessary. Baby, I'm yours. I wanna cater to you, boy. I mean, you could say like, what's wrong with his, his his hands? He can take off his own shoes. But I think this is a day where she's like 
She's taking care of him. She's pampering him. I don't think this is an everyday thing. If it was an everyday thing and he came home, just sat on the on the on the on the chair, he's like, baby, my shoes. That would be something else. I think she's just like, I'm going to pamper the heck out of my man. And I'm here for it. I do not think that this part is toxic. Let me cater to you, cause baby this is your day. Do anything for my man, baby you blow me away. I got your slippers, your dinner, your dessert, and so much more. Anything you want, I wanna cater to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna run him a bag, give him a foot rub, give him a manicure. Better yet, you should have said pedicure, cause we all know that men's feet, their nails be looking crusty. Better give that man a pedicure while you at it. Inspire me from the heart, can nothing tear us apart. You all I want in a man, I put my life in your hands. I put my life in your hands. I put, I, I put my life in your hands. I put my, I put my life in your hands. Yeah. I don't really know how I feel about that. Cause you could say, <sighs> like old school, the man is the protector. I do believe that, you know, I should trust you with my life. I mean, that that part does not sound problematic, but I put my life in your head. Ah, uh, ah, uh, I mean, I'm not exactly bothered. I would have to hear someone explain why they say that. That's all I can say. Uh, I got you to slip us, your dinner, your dessert, and so much more. Anything you want, I want to cater to you. Okay. Baby, I'm happy you're home. Let me hold you in my arms. Want to take the stress away from you. Making sure that I'm doing my part. Is there something you need me to do? If you want it, okay, I'm done saying. Say the word. I will try it. I know whatever I'm not fulfilling... No other woman is willing? Is that what she's saying? I know whatever I'm not fulfilling. Is, is, is that a lyrics? No other woman is willing? That doesn't make no sense. Is she saying that what she's not fulfilling, a other woman is willing? I don't know if these are the lyrics. Let me go double check. I'll be right back. I'm back. Uh -huh. What I thought. That's like I thought. Yeah. They chose. Yeah. 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 Those were not the lyrics. She says, I know whatever I'm not fulfilling, another woman is willing. Ooh, Who said that? Who said that? Who said that? <laughs> I'm gonna fulfill your mind, body, and spirit. I mean, the way the Surinamese woman in me was just like, You wanna go? You wanna go? Go! Go, go, go fee, go fee. If I'm not willing to do something, and I gotta remember in the back of my mind, I gotta do it, cause someone is waiting in line to take my spot. Will they take my spot? <laughs> if someone else can take my spot, that is not truly my spot. What is for me is for me. No, uh, uh. Ah, I promise you, I'll keep myself up. Remain the same chick you fell in love with. Yeah, that, that part, that part, not only is it unrealistic, you are not gonna be the same chick you fell in love with 20, 30 years along the line. That ain't got no longevity, sweetie. If you are the same exact person he fell in love with, that means you didn't grow. And I know they meant it like physically, but even that is not realistic. What men do you know that look the same exact way at 50 that they did at 20? I know none. So why do women fool themselves that they have to look the exact same way that they did at 40 or 50 that they did at 20? That don't make no sense. When you, come, when you come home late, tap me on my shoulder, I'll roll over. This is the part I saw people reacting to on Twitter. Uh, 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 uh. Wait a minute, hold up! And I was just like, 
when you come home late, tap me on my shoulder, I'll roll over. I mean, I'm a busy sleeper. I'm a heavy sleeper. You gonna tap me, I'm gonna be like, nah. I will definitely roll over. Maybe not for the reason you're thinking I'm roll, rolling over, but I'm, I'm gonna roll over. Probably gonna hit you in the face or something like that, but I'm gonna roll over. I don't see a problem with that. <laughs> I know that's not the way they meant it, okay? Baby, I heard you. I'm here to serve you and I'm loving it. I mean, if that's their truth, let them live it. I mean, for me, it's like when my husband comes home late, I'm lucky if I know where I am, if he would wake me, let alone that I heard him, let alone <laughs> that I'm ready to serve and loving it at 3 o'clock in the morning. That's not realistic, sweetie. It's, it's, it's not. I'm going to go easy on this part because it's Michelle. Because people just love to bully her. And I actually like her. Okay? Michelle. What Michelle got to say? Michelle said, I want to give you my breath. My breath. Like, my strength. My will to you. Okay, okay, that's something different than I saw because I thought she was saying my will to live. That's what the people, that's what the people on, on, on the Twitter said. Let me see. I want to give you my breath, my strength, my will to be here. The, the lyrics on the different sites don't add up. That's just what I want to say. That, that's, that's the first thing because that's how you get a song dragged when the lyrics are not correct because I thought she said I want to give you my breath my strength my will to live that one was problematic for sure for sure because I, I, I definitely am not gonna give no man my will to live because that means if you're not here no more I myself am not here no more and that's a lot that's a lot I could not get down with that I, I Okay, uh, but now that I'm seeing this, do I feel it's any better? Nah, nah, or my will to you. I'm not giving my will to someone else. I'm not giving my breath, like, uh, uh, whatever that means. Like, I'm giving it to you. Like, ah, uh, mm. listen, can someone explain those lyrics to me? What does that mean? Because I'm confused. I am confused. Let me cater to you, cause you're beautiful. I love the way you are. Fulfill your every desire. Your wish is my command. Your wish is my command? I mean, I'm okay with that. Some people said I'm not no genie, but I'm okay with it. I wanna cater to my man, your heart. So pure your love shines true. The darkness will get true. So much of me is you, I wanna cater to my man. And this is the part where Beyonce proceeds to do the most. And yeah, that's the song. I don't feel like there were so many things that I would say cancel the song. Cause it's a song. The parts that were toxic were just like really. <laughs> Like the parts, like I give you my will to be here. My life would be purposeless without you. Or what I'm not willing to do, another woman is willing, so I might as well do no, sweetie, no. <sighs> Listen, do I feel like we should cancel the song? Because after this, I heard people were actually signing petitions to cancel this song. I'm just like, you, you, you're doing too much now. You're doing too much now. I feel like, yeah, the song is not the best example for a relationship. But I'm going to be honest. If you are getting your relationship advice from a song. And you expect the relationship to have longevity. Especially nowadays. That's not a solid plan for no relationship. I'm going to be honest. So, that's just what I think. Leave the song alone. It's a bop. Let people sing the song if they want to. If you don't want to sing the song, don't sing the song. And you probably should not be getting your relationship advice or your advice what type of person you should be in life 
from a song especially nowadays because low key high key all of these songs that y'all be singing is problematic but that's a video for another day i finna get dragged today okay so that was my opinion on cater to you i it was a little bit different for me if you liked this reaction give me a thumbs up but also let me know in the videos and drop some ideas what you would want me to react to i actually have a lot of different opinions i actually have a lot of unpopular opinions and i like sharing them hopefully i don't get dragged for any of them but i like sharing them so you know what to do if you want to see more. If you're new, thank you so much for being here. Please do subscribe to become part of the family. And I will see you in another video, which I will definitely place right over here. <laughs> Have a wonderful day. Bye.